All right, folks, today we're going to make a Cajun jambalaya inside on the stove. Stick All right, we're getting started. We're going to need one medium yellow onion. We're going to need one green bell pepper and two sticks of celery. Let's get them chopped. Next, we're going to cut up one pound of hickory smoked Cajun andouille sausage. Okay, next, we're going to season and cut up our chicken thighs. We're using two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We're going to season it with some Tony Sacheries or Cajun Creole seasoning, some black pepper, and some salt. And when we cut them, we're going to cut them into big chunks, so probably quarters. And there you have it. Now let's go ahead and get your seasoning put together. We use black pepper, white pepper, red pepper, garlic powder, salt, onion powder, basil, thyme, Tony Sacheries or your Cajun seasoning and two bacon. At this point, we're gonna heat our pot up and we're gonna add five to six slices of smoked bacon. We're gonna cook this down so that we can use the grease to begin cooking the rest of the jambalaya. We're not actually gonna add the bacon into the pot. Okay, we've pulled the bacon out. Now we're gonna add our chicken into the bacon grease. We're not making enough. Just like that. Side note, the bacon makes a really good chef pack. A couple of tips when browning your chicken. We're gonna set your heat to about a medium high heat. And when you uh, go to turn your chicken or to stir it, you wanna make sure you do not scrape the bottom of the pot because we're gonna need that for later to give you the color for your jambalaya. So when you go to turn it, you're essentially just gonna kinda pull it until it, until it, it, it comes loose. Try not to scrape the bottom of the pot. Okay, the chicken is brown. We're gonna remove it and then add the sausage. Keep in mind, do not scrape the bottom of the pot. Okay, the sausage is brown. We're gonna remove the sausage and then we're gonna add the trinity, which is the onions, the bell peppers, and the celery. Okay, at this point, if you look in the bottom of the pot, you'll see plenty of good seasoning stuck to the bottom of the pot. This is when we're gonna add the trinity. And we're gonna, now you can start scraping the pot, which is gonna clean off the pot really well and add a lot of good color to your jumbo. At this point, you're gonna continue to clean the bottom of that pot, just like, just like so. And you're going to saute the onions down until they're brown and nice and soft. Okay, at this point, the onions, bell pepper, and celery is nice and brown. Really, really brown and soft, which is what you want. And uh, now we can go ahead and add back the sausage and the chicken and blend in really well. And let that kind of cook together for about five minutes or so. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Now we're going to add six cups of chicken broth. Mix that in nice and well. Okay, now we're going to add our seasoning in and then bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we will add our rice. Although not required, I kind of like to add a couple of shakes of crystal hot sauce. Okay, we've got it to a rolling boil. At this point, we're gonna add three cups of long grain parboiled rice and stir that in nice and good. And then we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna set it to a low heat and cook it for a 20 minute cook time. However, we will stir it at the 10 minute mark and again at the 15 and 20 minute mark to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. Okay, we've got the timer set for 20 minutes at a low heat. Okay, it's been 10 minutes cooking so far. Let's go ahead and lift the lid, give it a stir, and make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot. Looking good. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna lift the lid. We're gonna give it, give it another stir, make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot. And then we're gonna cook it for the remaining five minutes. Okay, 20 minutes is up. Let's kill the heat. Lift the lid, give it one final stir. Looking good. At this point, kind of fold it in, make sure all the rice is coated. Put the lid back on it, and we're gonna let it rest just like it is for 10 minutes. Okay, the 10 minute rest time is over. Let's go ahead and lift the lid. One final time. Let's plate it up and give it a shot. Really simple as that. I personally like it a little bit darker than this, but uh, I don't think this looks bad at all. I would definitely feel comfortable serving this to friends and family. So let's go ahead and give it a taste.
Good little piece of chicken too. Mm. Really good. You should try it.